In August, I finally set off on a long-awaited solo motorbike adventure to the Australian Outback. I'd never had any more than a one-night camp on a bike trip, so I headed off for a seven-day trip from Gisborne in Victoria to the Mundy Mundy Plains at the back of Broken Hill to attend the Mundy Mundy Bash, a concert in the desert featuring some great Aussie rock bands. The first day, straight down the Calder Highway towards Mildura. They made it to the spectacular Lake Tyrrell just in time for sunset. I had just enough time to set up a camera for time lapse while I took in the scenery as I got to experience an amazing sunset. What a great way to start the trip. After a successful first night's camp, it was time to head for the more remote roads in the Mungo National Park region. Not before a cruise through the rural town of Sea Lake and a stop at one of Victoria's famous silo murals. Time to fuel up and head off for a few hundred kilometres of remote roads. So it was goodbye to the bitumen and hello to the dirt for the next few hours. After a morning of glorious sunshine, the clouds rolled in and it rained on the roads again. It turned out to be quite wet and slippery and a road closure meant I couldn't make it to Mungo National Park. A change of plan and back to the historic town of Poon Kerry on the Darling River. Time for a quick break and soak up some of the still and quiet of the surrounds and a look at the Darling River. Back on the road to Menindi, which is known for its precarious condition, especially when wet. Right up. Thanks. I once had a car bogged here for several hours on an assignment. A new road is being constructed which seems to be making things even slipperier for the time being. It was nice to get back on the tar for the last dozen kilometres and get into Menindi before dark. I just caught the last of the sunset, which was breathtaking, but unfortunately, I wasn't out on the river or the lakes to capture it. So, in the morning, I made an early trip to the river to make sure I got to photograph the sunrise, and it didn't disappoint. Time to head to Broken Hill, where the roads really start to feel like Mad Max territory. Broken Hill has some amazing old mining sites that you can just cruise past or go for a walk around. It has a scarred landscape that makes it a popular place for movie sets. It was time to hit the road and head for the Mundy Mundy Bash, about 40 kilometres from Broken Hill. Arrival at the bash, there was no shortage of volunteers to help you find your way. Hello. Thanks. I was finally here. A bit of rain didn't dampen the spirits of the punters who were having a ball. Yeah. That's one of those things, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She'll be the last one standing Cause ain't nobody get away when the truth shines It's 
soon cleared up and made for a magic night of live music. Missy Higgins and the festival's headline act, The Night Oil. The following morning I enjoyed a little rest at camp before heading out for the trip's biking highlight, riding the Monday Monday Plains, the location of the Mad Max 2 film. The scenery is just stunning and the isolation is amazing. It was meditation on two wheels. Then I headed to the outback town of Silverton, which is famous for its pub. <laughs> which was bustling with day trippers from the festival. So I decided on lunch at the bakery for a quick walk around town and to check out the Mad Max Museum. It was pretty busy, so I gave it a miss. Back at the festival, I was offered a helicopter ride over the site. What an incredible way to end the last of three amazing nights at this event. Time to head home and join the convoy of caravans leaving the site, although it is an advantage jumping the queue on a bike. The stretch of road between Broken Hill and Wentworth is further than the range of my tank, so I had to carry extra fuel to top up on the way. After a Murray River crossing, I was back in Victoria, enjoying a sunny ride back through the Victorian countryside, including some gorgeous canola fields. The rain eventually came and reminded me that I must be getting close to home. By this stage, I was glad to be riding into my hometown. And after 2,045 kilometers, I was finally home.